Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial on a client and this time I'm doing a tutorial on my beautiful mother. So we are doing makeup for mature skin today. So the goal for today's makeup look is to bring out my mom's eyes, even on her skin tone, and we're going to do makeup for a night out, so it's going to be a little bit more on the dramatic side. So first things first, I'm going to prep her skin with a prep spray, and this is my Urban Decay B6 spray. And then I'm going to moisturize her skin really well with this Ombre Release Cream. I really like to make sure that the skin is really nicely moisturized before I begin. Then for my primer, I'm taking my Pore Professional by Benefit, and I love this primer for people who have more mature skin because it really fills in the lines on the face and it just makes for a really smooth canvas. Then I'm going in with my Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation, and I love this foundation because it's super lightweight. If you do have mature skin or you're working on somebody that does have mature skin, I definitely recommend using a foundation that has a very lightweight texture because the lighter it is, the less likely it's going to settle into any lines on the face. Foundations that are water-based work really well on mature skin, so MAC Face and Body and Makeup Forever Face and Body are also great options. I'm then going in with a corrector. This is Porcelain Peach by Bobbi Brown, and I'm just placing that underneath the eyes to correct any blue undertones that are there. And then I'm going in with a very light concealer, and I'm applying that right underneath the eyes, but you can see that I'm sort of blending it upwards and applying a little bit lower down. That's because I really don't want to cake up the area, and I don't want to apply too, too much. I'm then applying some down the bridge of the nose as well as on the chin. When you're applying concealer, especially underneath the eyes, guys, make sure that you use a very lightweight one and nothing too creamy because that will just crease underneath the eyes if there are any lines there. I'm then taking a very finely milled pressed powder that has a yellow undertone to it to set the concealer and this will really brighten underneath the eyes and because it is pressed, it just settles onto the skin really nicely. I do not recommend loose powder for those who have mature skin just because it could settle weirdly on the skin. Now I'm taking my Makeup Forever HD blush in number 335. This is the perfect shade to bronze slash contour. I'm not really contouring your face, I'm mostly just bronzing it but I like using creams rather than powders because it really just sits beautifully beautifully on the skin. Then I'm taking the Make Forever HD Blush in 320 and I'm applying that to the apples of the cheeks. I also don't need to set these because they do dry down to like a powdery finish. Then I'm going in for the eyes and I'm using this Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime them because it definitely cancels out everything that's on the eyes so it gives a really nice blank canvas to work on. Then I'm taking my Tartlet palette. Now for eyeshadow, I definitely recommend using all matte colors because any shimmers or shines will really accentuate any lines that are on the eyes, so definitely stick to the mattes. So I'm first going in with Force of Nature as my transition shade, and I'm just applying that on a fluffy brush right above her crease as well as on the outer corner of her eye. And then I'm going in with a light purple shade. This is called Best Friend from the palette, and I'm applying this directly into her crease. Because my mom does have hooded eyes, I had her open up her eyes for me before I applied the shadow, just so I knew exactly where to apply the crease color so that it sort of acts as like a fake crease. So I'm basically just applying the dark purple shadow and then blending it out, applying, blending, applying, blending until I like the way it looks. And then once I like the way it looks, I go into the crease just a little bit more to define it just a tad more because this is supposed to be a smoky look. And then for the whole entire lid, I'm taking a matte cream shadow. This is called Free Spirit and just applying that all over the lid and then giving everything one last nice good blend. And then to really deepen it everything up, I'm going back in with my black eyeshadow and applying that right on the outer corner of the eye and then of course blending that out. And then applying some more and then blending it out. I like working in layers because I find it gives a really pretty blended effect. Then I'm going in with the light purple color on her lower lash line to define it. And then of course, lining her upper lash line with some gel eyeliner. This adds a ton of definition to the eyes and I really love the way it looks. It really makes her eyes pop as soon as I put that gel eyeliner on there. I then went off camera and applied some individual false lashes and then I applied some mascara to her top as well as to her bottom lashes. And this totally opened up her eyes. Like it makes such a huge difference. Then going in and filling in my mom's brows with some brow wig from Anastasia and then setting them with a clear brow gel. Now the only place I will ever apply a shimmer or shine to the eyes is on the brow bone and on the inner corner. So I'm applying shimmer shimmer there and I think that this is gorgeous and again, it really makes the eyes pop. Then going in with a highlighter, this is Hourglass Luminous Light and applying that to the tops of her cheekbones. This is my favorite highlighter for more mature skin because it is not glittery or sparkly, it just has the most stunning glow to it. And then of course, setting my mom's face with some Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. 
For the lips, I'm lining them with MAC Whirl and then I'm applying some NARS Bridget lipstick to the lips and then of course topping it off with some Shimmer of Hope gloss from Shara Cosmetics, which is my fave. My mom didn't really like the way I overlined her lips, so this happened. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> so that is it for the finish tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys got some good tips from this. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, like button, and that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.